In this video, we learn how to solve linear inequalities. Now, when we solve linear inequalities, we'll typically be asked to solve things looking like this. 2x less than 4, or maybe x over 2 plus 1 greater than or equal to 3x, or even negative 4x plus 2 greater than 3x plus 9. Now, to solve these inequalities, the good news is we follow the same steps as we would for linear equations. So for that first inequality, we just follow the same steps as we would for 2x equals to 4. For the second, we follow the same steps as x over 2 plus 1 equals to 3x. And for the last inequality we see here, we follow the same steps as we would for negative 4x plus 2 equals to 3x plus 9. But there is one very important difference. When we solve linear inequalities, and in fact inequalities in general, when we multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative number, the inequality symbol is reversed. What that means is when we multiply by a negative, greater than becomes less than, greater than or equal to becomes less than or equal to, less than becomes greater than, and less than or equal to becomes greater than or equal to. Now let's see why that is. Okay, so here's why we have to reverse the inequality symbol when we multiply or divide by a negative. Consider the inequality 5 greater than 2. Now, we can illustrate this on the number line as follows. We have 5 right here and 2 right here. And what the inequality 5 greater than 2 is actually telling us is that starting from 0, 5 is further to the right than 2 is as illustrated here. Now, what happens to that when we multiply both sides of the inequality by negative 1? Well, 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, and 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. But what about the inequality symbol? Well, to answer that, we can just use the number line again, and the fact that when we multiply or divide a number by negative 1, we turn it into its opposite, and on the number line, its opposite is just its reflection across 0. So 5 will turn into negative 5, and 2 turns into negative 2. And now, since 5 was further to the right than 2 was, negative 5 is going to be further to the left than negative 2 will be. And on the number line, what that's really telling us is that negative 5 is less than negative 2. And so the inequality symbol has been reversed. And something similar to this will happen every single time we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number. So that leads to the key rule to remember. When we multiply both sides of an inequality by a negative, the inequality symbol is reversed. Now, let's move on to a couple of tutorials in which we'll see some worked examples of solving linear inequalities.